Ang mga bata na may edad 1 hanggang 3 years old ay tinatawag na toddlers. Sila yung mga makukulit, active, at restless. Kaya, kailangan natin ang mga essentials na to para mapanatili natin silang malinis at safe. everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's me, Mami Ara. How are you guys? I know this is one of those trying times na kailangan nating labanan. Please keep yourself healthy and safe. Anyway, for this vlog, I'm going to share with you itong laman ng lalagyan ni Yana ng kanyang mga essentials. Yung mga nandito ay tinatawag na essentials, yung mga basic lamang. Base lang din to sa aking experience kung paano ko inaalagaan ang aking anak. Pag may mga gusto kayong idagdag sa mga essentials na to, pwede nyo pong i-comment yan sa comment section sa baba. So, let's start. First on the list is yung kanilang mga baby wash. Of course, we have to consider yung mga baby wash na hypoallergenic. I have here two brands of baby wash. This one is a local brand. This is the Nature Gentle Baby Wash and the Nivea Baby Shampoo and Bath. Yung madalas na ginagamit niya na is etong Nature because this has an ingredient called the sunflower seed oil. Ang sabi dito kasi beneficial daw yung sunflower seed oil sa skin ng mga babies kasi it keeps their skin moist. So importante din na we have to consider kung ano yung ingredients na nandun sa product na baby wash. I know you guys are reading the ingredients naman. So it's a good job para sa ibang mommies naman na hindi pa into ingredients, concerned into ingredients. I think it's time na we have to consider din reading yung mga labels na ng mga binibili natin na mga products. Isa din diba sa mga consider natin when buying a baby wash ay dapat pH balance siya and of course hypoallergenic. Prevention is better than cure. Pangunahan na lang natin bago pa malagay sa alanganin yung sitwasyon ng ating mga anak. Top 2 sa aking listahan ay yung mga moisturizing baby lotion. Bakit? Alam ko yung ibang mommies dito ay hindi na sila or they don't apply lotion na sa, sa skin ng kanilang mga anak. But in my case, I find it very beneficial and essential kasi may mga ingredients sa lotion na nakakatulong din sa skin ng ating mga anak. So for example, this one, this is the, this is a local brand again from Nature Moisturizing Baby Lotion this is pH balanced, hypoallergenic, naturally derived, and cruelty free. I like this brand because it has a good mixture of shea butter, sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E na nakakatulong na marihydrate yung skin at of course, mabango. I'm telling you, this is so mabango. Paminsan-minsan nga ito yung ginagamit ko. I also have here, although this is not a moisturizing baby lotion, but this is kids' sunscreen, which I will also be including doon sa category under the lotion. Bakit? Kasi yung mga toddlers natin, they usually go out kahit sa bakuran lang natin yan. But we need to have a good sunscreen para sa kanila to protect their skin. I bought this from from Healthy Options. This is all good kids sunscreen. It has SPF 30. It has all the natural products, natural ingredients. For example, it has the coconut oil, the sunflower seed oil, olive fruit oil, cocoa seed butter, also has the shea butter. So I'm sure may mga sunscreen products din kayo dyan sa bahay. You can comment it below para may idea din yung ibang mommies na nanonood. Number three ay yung mga anti-mosquito lotion. Ito, I have here four brands. Ayan. This one, sige, isa-isahin natin na. The Saint Mark Mosquito Cologne. I know this is not a lotion. This is a cologne. Ayan. Ririnig nyo ba? This is liquid. And this one is from, again, from Nature Anti-Mosquito Lotion. This is a local brand, Hiyang. That's it. This is the Citronella Lotion. And last but not the least ay itong Zip Kids na very familiar sa atin. Bakit importante ang anti-mosquito lotion? Kailangan pa bang i-explain yan? Of course, nakakatakot yung mga lamok, lalo na yung mga lamok na dengue carrier. So, we have to protect. We must be proactive. Kailangan marami tayong stock ng mga anti-mosquito lotion. But, Mommies, let us consider yung mga anti-mosquito lotion na DEET-free. Ano ba yung DEET? 
Yung DEET kasi, base sa na-research ko, ito yung mga industrial pesticide na common sa mga repellents. When in use in large doses, it can cause rashes, insomnia, and seizures. Nakakatakot siya, di ba? So, I check on each product kung meron bang DEET. But in all fairness, itong tatlong to, which are all local brands, wala silang DEET. As in, they are DEET-free. Yung mga ingredients nito ay mga natural ingredients na familiar naman sa atin like uh, lavender, citronella, spearmint, eucalyptus, argan oil, sunflower seed oil, ayan, vegetable origin, ano ba yan, shea butter, lavender, and ito rin, dito naman, walang naka, nakasulat na mga ingredients but it, it claims that it's all natural and deep free. Malalaman kasi natin kung may DEET yung ating uh, anti-mosquito lotion kasi it has a very strong smell. For me ha, that's my own judgment. Like this one, eto, uh, hindi naman nila tinatago label na meron siyang 7% na DEET. Nasa sa atin din yan, mamis yung ating judgment and discretion if what product yung gagamitin natin para sa ating mga bata for as long as they are protected against the mosquitoes. So, again, we have to keep those citronella lotion, anti-mosquito lotion, or spray. Meron din kasi itong lotion, but naubos na namin. Currently, ito yung ginagamit namin for Yana. Kasi, hindi ganun ka-strong yung amoy niya. So, sa damit naman, we spray this sa kanya. Especially when we are outdoors. So, number four ay etong Calendula Healing Salve from Naturae. Actually, ngayon lang na naging mommy na ako, ngayon lang ako naka-encounter ng ganitong product. This is very, very useful. I cannot imagine my mom life without this. Tayo, adults, VIX is very important. Kasi when we have insect bites, mosquito bites, or yung mga small na mga small bumps, VIX yung nilalagay natin sa ating skin. But, maraming mga mommies ang nagsasabi, and even our pedia, sabi nila, yung VIX for adults, hindi siya pwede for kids. Kasi may VIX, anyway, may VIX naman for babies, di ba? For toddlers. But, in our case, we use Calendula Healing Salve. And this product has a Calendula Extract as main ingredient, which is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. Again, this video is not sponsored. I am just sharing kung ano yung mga products na nakatulong sa akin as a mom. Last but not the least ay itong mga hand sanitizers na napaka-importante lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon. Yung mga toddlers natin, minsan hindi natin nakokontrol kahit ano lang yung hinahawakan, kahit ano yung pinaglalaruan, and then right after that, hindi natin namamalayan yung kamay pala na galing sa marume ay pinasok na sa kanyang bibig. So, I know we are very overprotective. This is the Naturae Foaming Hand Sanitizer. And I also have here the Hygienics 99.9% Germ Kill Hand Sanitizer na antibacteria. Ano ba yung mga dapat natin i-consider when buying hand sanitizers? Una, kailangan alcohol-free sila. So, when you want an alcohol-free product, itong Naturae, this is all natural and super bango. That's it. And this is mabango siya but hindi siya masakit sa ilo. Ayan. And this one also is, alam ko na, alam nyo na familiar kayo sa brand na to. This is Hygienics. And binilan ko lang si Yana din ng ganito kasi lalo na sa panahon ngayon kailangan nating mag doble ingat pagdating sa ating mga kamay. We have to wash our hands regularly and of course, we have to put on alcohol or in our case, sanitizer. Maganda din kasi if we have to choose yung mga products na may mga ingredients na friendly din sa mga bata. Like this one, this has the chamomile extra. Di nagiging dry yung ating kamay right after, especially sa ating mga toddlers. So that's it, mommies. Those are my two cents 
Opinion ko lang po yung lahat ng mga sinabi ko ha. But nasa inyo pa rin yung judgment kung ano yung mga products na gagamitin nyo for your kids kasi mothers know best. So, ikaw na mama, alam mo kung ano yung uh, nakakabuti sa yung anak. So, for me, yun yung mga ginagamit namin and so far, so good. Thank you so much, mommies, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, i-share nyo rin ito sa mga mommy friends ninyo na you think this will be helpful din sa kanilang motherhood journey. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep safe and healthy. Bye!